Smash Ultimate is easily the best game in the Smash Bros series, and that's coming from someone who grew up playing Melee. As with all good things, the Ultimate isn't perfect. Now, of course, it's not bad, far from it, in fact. But every time I boot it up, there are some minor tweaks I can think of that would make the game better in a quality of life sort of sense. Now, the development team has said in the past that Home Run Contest is the last game mode to be put in post launch, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the end of free updates unrelated to buffs and nerfs. With the new ARMS character along with version 8.0 on the horizon, I present to you five minor changes to Smash Bros. Ultimate that I would like to see. When I finally got used to navigating the mess that is the Smash 4 online menu, implying that all of the menus in 4 aren't trash, Smash Ultimate comes around and gives us this. Now I know many people hated this new addition, especially at launch, but what I hate the most is starting a new online match in this game. Although flawed, I prefer the system in Smash 4 where you match with another player and you choose a different character every round. In Ultimate, you choose a character to be stuck with and battle the same opponent until one of you rage quit for losing 10 million global smash points or sneezing a little too loud. I would like it if once an online match is over, you'd get a menu like you would in Tekken or Street Fighter that says stuff like rematch, change character, change opponent, and quit the main menu. The players would all select one of the options, with each one sort of trumping others. Like, if one player picks rematch, but another picks change character, everyone would be taken back to the character select screen. To be honest, this would probably be pretty annoying in anything that isn't a one-on-one -on -one battle, but if it was only for 1v1s, I'd be fine with it. In training mode, you can actually select who pops out of a Pokeball or assist trophy. While messing around in these training menus, it may be one why we can't tell which ones we can use while making real sets in the main Smash mode. In a sense, the game does this itself for certain stages, most likely to prevent lag though. And who hasn't wanted to stop Golden from spawning and throwing out the Master Ball? If this was implemented, I would prefer it to be per rule set, like items in general are. Speaking of rule sets. I'm not sure if anyone else does, but I love the addition of customizable preset rules. I love being able to choose which stages are chosen at random, which items spawn and how often, the display with just one button press instead of manually going through all the options every time, like in the old games. There's a ton of changes that could be made to add more depth. Like, which custom stages are chosen at random, or toggling pity final smashes. But the one I personally want the most is being able to customize which characters can be selected. I have presets themed at their series or motifs like Mario or Gun Game. Wish I could make it so that I could only play as Mario characters in the Mario preset, only as characters use guns like Snake and Fox in Gun Game. I'd honestly be fine with just choosing which ones are picked when someone selects random like those stages. Plus, to an extent, this is already in the game in the World of Light Adventure mode and Tournament mode online. Seeing trophies be replaced by spears was at first a little disappointing, but using pre-existing artwork of characters instead of character models not only allows for an overall greater number of collectibles, but it also leaves more development time for the rest of the game. However, I wish there was a little more to it than a JPEG with a name and a series title. I wish there was a little description next to the select the spirit like trophies used to. Since Smash Bros is sort of meant to be a celebration of gaming history, you think there would be a way to learn said history. It would also be great if we could search by series or zoom in to see the finer details of the artwork. This one would probably be the most difficult to add. I mean, at the time of this recording, there's over 1300 spirits in the game, with more to come. So if they just added descriptions to the spider spirits, I imagine fans would be happy just seeing that. Although this list is in no particular order, I saved my most wanted edition for last. The heart of the Super Smash Brothers series is its fighters. The screen players will see the most as the character select screen. I mean, look at these. They're iconic. But this? I mean, it's fine. I know what they're going for with the whole Smash history thing by going in order, but it's kind of a mess. For me, it's not the hardest to navigate because I'm a big, fat, sweaty nerd and I know everything about this series. But for a casual player, they probably need their gamer friend to help them. With so many customization options, I wish there was a way I could arrange the fighters in any order I desire. I can't personally think of a game that allows you to do something like this, so this would be kind of groundbreaking in a weird way. At the very least, I think we should be able to toggle between the pre-existing chronological order and a new by series order like the one we see with the fighter spirits. With that, we conclude our list today. Now I'm not a game developer, and I understand even minor things like these take a lot of time and money that can't be thrown around willy nilly. I mean, Sakurai basically said it himself in Heroes Fighter video. This video was just for fun and to start a conversation with the Smash community. 
I honestly don't expect any of these to be added as much as I would like them to. Leave any of your ideas in the comments section if you'd like. Thank you so much for watching my first real video, I plan on making more that are not just about Smash Bros or gaming in general. However, consider this episode 0 of a future series I have in the works that should come out sometime this year. I know that's a pretty big range, but quality takes time. Anyways, thanks again for watching and goodbye.